Hello everybody, this is uh, Pole Position RC here for you. And in this video series, we've got the brand new to us MF01X shaft drive Beetle Rally Volkswagen from Tamiya. So been really itching to do this one. This is, uh, this is gonna be a really cool kit to build up. So what this build series is, is um, basically we're going to unbox the, the kit in this video. In the following videos, we're basically just going to build it um, as the box instructions tell you to. Um, we do have a couple of things that um, we're going to be using. So actually, the only option part we're going to be using is this right here, the uh, the MF01X ball bearing set. Um, so that will be very, very handy. And we've also got a couple of Tamiya tools, brand new uh, Tamiya tools. So these are the uh, PH 100 mil JIS M3 to M5, JIS M2 to M2.6, uh, so small and large. So pH head. Um, I have lots of pH head screwdrivers, but um, I figured, well, you know, this is a special deal. So I may as well get the official Tamiya screwdrivers just in case. Uh, it's these JIS heads that uh, are the tricky thing. So if you go online and you read about things uh, about building kits, they always say use the Tamiya tools or the J Japanese JIS, I don't know what the IS stands for, but anyway, I think industry standard probably. So anyway, so, we, so we've got these, we've got that. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is just unbox the car. So there's not a whole lot to it. Um, so this is what we're gonna end up with. Pretty cool, I think. Um, it'd be a lot of fun to drive around for sure. I've already got a really cool idea of how I'm going to paint this sucker. Um, we will be needing a servo receiver, speedo, battery pack, charger, and a transmitter, as you can see there. But um, this does say it comes with a torque tune motor, and I think there's even a speed control included. Yeah, plus electronic speed controller included. So for some reason, the box says you need it, but then there's a sticker that says it's that stuff is included. So um, yeah. Um, so tune-up parts not in the kit. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, we've got this here. Um, by the time we finish building this, we might get that. Uh, we'll probably skip that for now unless we do go to a brushless setup or a faster um, uh, motor. So anyway, you wanna see what's inside the box. I'm sure if you're really keen to get this, uh, you probably are aware already of what's inside here. So first of all, we've got the body set which looks pretty cool, to be honest. We've got chrome-plated uh, parts, and these are the plastic parts to go on the outside. Looks like mud flaps, and the license plate holder, and something for the back of probably one of the bumpers, I'm not sure. But anyway, chrome-plated parts look really cool. Always love chrome-plated parts. And we've got the body. Of course, it's a M chassis size body. Scale, um, vintage, VW bug. So yeah, really cool. Uh, my parents, I think we've owned two of these, I think. Uh, so yeah, quite a lot of fun. Uh, I've got some, the rally, these are the rally headlights for the front. So it looks like if you really want, you can kind of put LEDs in there. Well, it might take a little bit more work than I'm thinking. So anyway, uh, we've got sprues of body and looks like suspension parts pretty basic shocks it looks like in there but we do have some lots of metal stuff in here so yeah we'll be going through there there's the motor lots of gears very sturdy looking gears uh, some gray parts these are I think are the parts to extend and shorten the chassis this is going to be a quite short wheelbase one red suspension parts always cool red Red ones go faster, don't they? And cool, look at that, I love that. Rally block M tires. So let's just open, get one of these out. Cause these look awesome. I love these. Look how cool that looks. That is awesome. Very nice, realistic tread. Very cool. Okay, so we'll put that back. 
Ah, sorry for the plasticky noise. Okay, and here we've got the electronic speed controller. So we'll use this right out of the box because it's included in the kit. And here's the rest of the chassis parts. All the gears and bits go in there. And then there's a, somewhere in here, I think here is the drive shaft that connects the front and rear gearboxes. We got a set of wheels. So these are the uh, gravel type gravel tire style wheels <laughs> and of course the instructions got the body instructions i think this thing at the very bottom is proving hard to take out and uh whip antenna so there's the body instructions the typical tremia style <laughs> for some reason the long uh Paper. This looks like uh, the guarantee or warranty information, something or other. Important information, just your warning stuff, I suppose, in all the different uh, languages. Now, are these decals or are these stickers? They feel like stickers, and they're not die cut, so eh, it's not a huge problem, but uh, it's cool. Blue, white, and silver, the Tamiya colors of uh, the Tamiya racing colors, even though they don't have a racing team anymore. I like that. Just past the scrutiny or inspection. That's cool. So you got your window lines, um, uh, hood vents, stuff like that. That's all right. And those look clear to me, but there's not. Um, oh, I think because they go on the clear. Those will go on the on these here, which are chrome. So the chrome kind of shows through. So anyway, it's pretty good. Okay, so uh, we will leave this particular video off here um, because we're going to jump right in with the very next video in this series, building this sucker. So um, anyway, that's it for this one. Um, in the next video, we will start the assembly process. So thanks for watching. Um, catch us in the next video. Please check us out polepositionrc.com and just search for Pole Position RC Gear on Facebook and also on Instagram, just at Pole Position RC Gear. So anyway, that's it for this one. Very quick one. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment, question, anything you want, um, if you have any questions or comments. So thanks again for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.